This is problem 6.7, and we like to solve this trust. We are asked to find the reactions of AB, which is this one right here, AH, which is this one right here, BC, which is this one right here, and a HC, which is this one, and HG, which is this one right here. So we have to find five reactions. So we will use a combination between the joints method and the sections method. So the first thing that we would like to do always when we will use the section method is to calculate the external reaction. So I will calculate external reactions and for that I will do the free body diagram of the whole trust. I will do a simplified version of my trust. And I will draw the external forces, which is one kilonewtons, four kilonewtons, four kilonewtons, and two kilonewtons. And I will draw the reactive forces, which are the forces at my support. Here I have a pin. A pin generates two reactions because it prevents two displacements. And here I have only one reaction because I have only a roller which only prevents the displacement in Y. Oh, we are missing one force here. Let me, let me draw it by here. Here we have a force that is equals to 4K kilonewtons. Therefore, we here in our free body diagram, we have 4 kilonewtons. Good. So let's do our equations of equilibrium. For that, we add our forces at x, and that we have Ax minus 4 kilonewtons is equal to 0. Therefore, Ax is equal to 4 kilonewtons. Before we add forces in y, I will take moment in one of the points so that we have only one unknown. So I will take moment at A, and then I have the distance will be 4 times 5, negative, so it will be negative 5 times 4. This one does not produce any moment because it's applied at point A, right? So I have then I have 10, also negative, for, times this 4 over here. Then I have 20 times 2. And then I have a y, which is 20, positive in this case. And I have the moment produced by that force, and the height is 5 and it will be a negative moment as well, times 4. So from here, we can solve for Ay. Ay give me a value of 6 kilonewtons. And then I forces in Y, and then I have Ay minus 8, 10, 11, plus Ay equals zero. Therefore, here I have Ay is equals to 5 kilonewtons. Good. So we have the result for the external reactions. Now we can move forward with our uh, metro sections or metro of joints. To find out these two members which are attached to node A, or join A, and we already know the external reaction. So if we do the free body diagram of join A, we will have only two unknowns. So let's do that. I will do the, with the methods of join. I will do the free body diagram of join a. So I have my, active, my uh, support reactions, which is, I will already write the numbers. This is 5 kilonewtons, and I have 4 kilonewtons. 
and I have the forces of my uh, members, the internal forces, that, right? So it will be the reaction of AB and the reaction of the member AH. And this angle right here, I need to know this angle right here, and this angle right here is this one right here. You see that this angle right here, uh, I, I can calculate it very easily because I have the opposite and I have the adjacent. So I can either calculate the angle using the tangent, so I see this is 3 and this is 5 and this is theta, or I can calculate the hypotenuse which will be 25 plus 9 which is then 34, right? So that will be the square root of 34. Therefore, I have that the cosine of theta it was 5 over 34, square root of 34, and the sine of theta will be 3 over the square root of 34. So we can apply the equations of equilibrium to my joint, and I have that the A adding forces in X will give me 4 plus AB plus AH cosine of that angle, and I already know that the cosine is 5 over square root of 34 equals 0. That has two unknowns, right? So let's find out first AH by adding forces in Y. So that's 5 minus AH cosine, uh, sine, sorry, of, of theta, but right, to get the Y component would be 3 square root of 34. AH is equals to 7.77 kilonewtons, and it, since it's positive, it's in tension, and then I plug in this value in the first equation, and I get AB, and for AB I get negative 1067 kilonewtons, and that's a compression, in compression because it's a negative value. So I was able to find the first two members by the method of John. I could continue using the method of joints and uh, analyze this joint and analyze this joint. Just to combine both methods so it, you are free to use the joint methods and continue. I will use the section method just to show that it will give me the exact the same result. So what I'm going to do is do the method of combine both methods. So I will do the method of sections and I will do this cut over here. Since I will do that cut over here, I will have the reminding if, um, rigid body and the reminded you rigid body could either be the left side which is this little triangle over here or the right side which will be this section over here. I will draw the rigid body of the left side so free body diagram of left side of cut and then I have this is let me draw it like that. So I have section AB, section AH, and then I have this one right here. And this angle already, already know that is theta. And then we have my I have external forces from the support, and I have my external forces. And then I have the forces that come from the internal forces that I cut. So I have here will be BC, here from, it comes to BC, I got, this one is HC, and here I have another one right here, which is not aligned with AB, 
which is called HG. So let me draw that, that I have a space to draw the angle. Okay, so very important to see that this angle over here, this angle is different from the one above. The one above, we will see that is three and five. So this angle over here, this angle over here, as you see, is the same as theta because here we have the triangle that has three at the opposite and five at the adjacent. Here we have three at the opposite and five at the adjacent. So we can say that this angle over here is also theta. But phi is a different angle. So if I analyze phi, which is this one right here, I say that phi will be two as the opposite and five as the adjacent. So in this case, the this hypotenuse will be 25 plus 4. So it will be the square root of 29. So my cosine of phi will be equals to 5 over square root of 29, and the sine of phi will be equals to 2 square root of 29. So it's different angles. Now that we have all set up our uh, Three body diagram, we apply the equations of equilibrium. As you see, if I add forces in X, I will have three unknowns. If I add forces in Y, I have two unknowns. What can I do to have an equation with less unknown? What I'm going to do is take moment at this point C. This point C, it doesn't matter that it is outside my free body diagram, but that taking moment at point C, as you see, will cancel out two unknowns and will give me uh, the possibility to find HG. And once I find HG, I can add forces in Y and I will be able to find HC. And then I will add forces in X and I will be able to find BC. Or I can take moment somewhere else. So what I'm going to do now then is apply my equations of equilibrium. And the first that I will do is add moments at C. So these two forces do not produce any moment, but this one does. And this distance is five, so it will be five times four. And there will be 10 times one, right? Positive. There will be negative 10 times five, right? Four does not produce any moment. And then I, this one does not produce any moment because I can slide it to C. And then I have only H, G. HG have two components, and as you see, the X component, which will be HG, cosine of phi, which is 5 over 29, let me write that 29, good, so I don't make confusion, it's 29, and that X, that high, is equals to 5. And then I will continue in the next line. And that moment is positive, right? Positive. And then I have the moment produced by the Y component is also positive. And it will be times the sine, which is 2 over square root of 29. And that distance is also five, right? Let me see. Oh no, this one is three. This one is three. This one is three. Okay, please, let's correct that. So this one is five. So let me let me just write it here so that we don't have any doubts. This distance is three, and this distance over here is five. Good. Okay. So the x component which is multiplied by the cosine, we have to multiply by the distance of three, and the y component, and both are positive, right? You have to multiply by the distance of y. So once here, you have an equation that only have a g. So I will solve for that a g. Please solve for that a g, which is very easy. You just uh, 
uh, put that into the other side of the equation and divide by those two numbers, right, adding together. And we get that HD is equals to 4.31 kilo newtons. And is in positive, therefore, is in tension. Now that we have H, now we can add forces in Y. And then we have 5 minus 1 minus 4. And then we have plus HC sine of theta, which sine of theta is already 3 over 3. Uh, let me substitute that already because we know that it's sine of theta is 3 over square root of 34, minus the value that I just found, sine of phi. And sine of phi is 2 over square root of 29. And I don't have any other forces, therefore this is equals to 0. And I now I can find HC. And I have the value right here is 3.11 kilonewtons. And it's also in tension. And to find BC, we can either, either add forces in X or analyze, keep going with the joint method. We see that this, this here has for the joint, the joint uh, B, let me write down here B. This is joint A, so to make sure that we know what we are doing, right? So if you see the joint B, we have here one unknown, which is B H, that no, nobody is asking for that one, B C, and then here we have A B, and we already know that one, and we have here four kilonewtons. So here it's very easy to see that BC is exactly equals to AB if I add forces. So I will write that result already. And then BC is equals to AB, which is negative 10.67 kilonewtons, and is also in compression. This is the free body diagram of joint B. So what I try to do in this problem is to combine method of joints and method of sections at, to my convenience. So I can use either one to, to get to the results in a quicker manner. So very important to see which one of those are in compression and what is in tension. So we see that these loads over here are making the truss to bend like upwards, so that makes these two to be in compression and this to be in tension. 